So I'm here at the Will booth at CES 2019 where they're showing off an automated wheelchair. Can you tell us more about that? Sure, well, yeah, it's an autonomous personal electric vehicle. So we're really excited to be launching it this week at CES. We won a uh, Best in Show Innovation Award for it, which is really exciting. Um, so the purpose or the need for it that we see is really just providing that last mile of transportation for people. So a lot of people take a train on their commute or to get home, um, and they get to get to the train station, but then to get from the train to their office or from the train to their home, um, sometimes that's a bit of a challenge for them. So they can call one or summon one to come and pick them up, tell it where to take them, and, and off they go. Uh, can you tell us about some of the uh, key features that you're showing off here? Sure, well some of the features on the on the chair itself are very similar to what we had on the previous models that we've launched for consumer purchases. So we have an Omni wheel that we, we call it. It's an omnidirectional wheel, so it's made up of 24 individual rollers. So it can travel laterally without having to swivel like a traditional caster wheel would. Hmm. So it, it allows it to do really tight corners, but also um, do really rough terrain, like gravel, rocks, mulch, that kind of stuff, and go up a pretty decent lip too. It can do a two inch curb. So how do you get a device like this to be able to roll around autonomously? Sure, well it's the technology that's in it. So there's stereo cameras on the front to sense anything around it. There's LiDAR on the back as well, so it can't back or bump into anything. Um, the first generation that we're launching is going to be like in an airport. So we have a few pilot tests that we're doing in airports. So it's using Beacon technology where essentially you map the entire airport. And then on the device itself, there's a tablet. So you can touch exactly where you want to go within that airport. So I need to go to gate 40 to catch my flight. You just hit the button and, uh, and off it goes. So one concern that I have is a lot of people may see this as an excuse for people to be lazy. What do you have to say to those people? Yeah, sure. Well, you can walk. You, you don't have to use it. I think it's more for folks that don't have as much ability as, as you and I might have. Um, so if you have a mobility challenge, maybe you hurt your knee, sprained an ankle. Uh, for older folks who have arthritis and they just can't quite walk as far as they used to, it's really meant to be accessible for everybody. So in cities today, you see bikes that you can rent for short distances, scooters that you can pick up and drop off wherever and sort of a pay per use model, but not everybody's able-bodied enough to use those devices. Um, so this would be an option for them. Okay, so if you could add one feature to this device that isn't there already, what would it be? Wow, that's a really great question. Um, something I actually hadn't thought of, but somebody uh, mentioned today was if it could help stand somebody up so that they could be sort of eye level with, with people. Um, that's an option that I think, yeah, would have some benefit as well. All right, well, thank you so much for speaking with me. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for coming by the booth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my coverage of CES so far. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the updates and follow me on Twitter at SolidStateTweet to get first updates on absolutely everything. If you have something you'd like to say, any comments, thoughts, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video and I'll see you guys very soon.